morning, everybody. Thanks for being here. I have a uh, the beginning of a project that I'm doing, and I thought that I would bring you along. They're very simple. Some of you have, may have already made them, seen them, but I have a couple of different ideas um, that I want to share with you. I've made these in a larger size for different things, um, but this is going to be for a journal. A, a couple of journals, but for one in specific, and um, so I thought that I'd bring you along. Um, what we're going to make today is mini folio um, pockets, or um, whatever you want to use them for. So I'm going to start with this one, and before I started cutting it down, I thought, oh, turn on the camera. <laughs> so all I'm taking is a piece of... Um, paper that I have um, uh, had already printed so I could show you um, an example and then I have some others that I'm going to be making as well but this one is the simplest one okay so let's begin how are you all today it's Friday <laughs> I need to remind I really didn't get nearly as many things on my list done as I wanted to this week. I don't know about you, but I just seem to be failing every week. I look at my list on Friday and it's like, I didn't get this done. I didn't get that mailed. I didn't do this. And it's always something, isn't it? So what you want to do is just take your paper and what you're going to do is fold it. So that, um, you, you know, you've got a space between here and here because this is going to close, okay? And then you just, I'm going to be using for this project, I'm going to be using these little paper bags. You can use anything you want. So I want to make sure that I have enough on each side hanging out. I don't want to... I don't want it to be the same as the bag. So I know it's going to be there. I could have measured, right? <laughs> that would have been good. And just make them as big or small. Now save this piece because now you can make even a smaller one for your mini journals, which of course I love. So the next thing you're going to do is take your little paper bag. If you don't have them, you can make them easily like I've done before. You just take a piece of paper, fold it over, and um, make a tube. So you don't really have to use a paper bag, but don't close up the bottom because we're cutting that off. So then you just, I'm just going to, I'm actually going to glue this over because I don't want that piece. And then I'll just take both the top and the bottom off. I could tuck this in, but I don't want that. Well, I'll tuck it in and then just cut that little edge off. Eh, that makes more sense. So I'm going to tuck this in. Actually, I can just kind of rub it out. And then I'm going to take this one. I already folded it, but then I turned on my camera. <laughs> like I do most days. <laughs> it's like, oh, video. <laughs> Stop right where you're doing. So then you just fold this in. And I love the mini ones. I have some larger ones. Now this one I keep all my pink washi in. So this is what we're making. But we're making smaller ones. So in here, this is not all of my pink washi, but I choose some pink washies when I'm gonna when I'm making a journal. I'll choose whatever color I'm using, and I have like one of these in different colors. So this one, I pulled the blue and um, put the blue washies, anything with blues in it. Um, you know, like this one has pink. So anything that, you know, has pinks or, you know, lilac, just that the washies I want to use for my project. So that's what these are very handy for. I know that people use them for all sorts of things. And then this goes on my shelf with my washi tapes. And they, they're nice and neat. And I know, like, okay, the blue ones are in, you know, I can just pull them off my shelf. They sit there like this on my shelf. 
and I just did them in different cardstock colors. So, and again, you know, I, it's not all of my washies. I do have washies in different containers, but the, the ones I like to go for, my go-tos. So now you just want to fold it up so that it's even, and I'm just going to cut that serrated edge off when I take off this piece. And did I glue those down? Oh my goodness, Cheryl, I'll get your glue. So you don't have to use this. I just DM because it's quick. I haven't used it yet today. And for some reason, I think it gets cold overnight. Hold on one second. I bent my pen last night, so I need to make a new one. Yeah, it's kind of cold. I don't know why it's not cold here. <laughs> Although in the mornings, it's a little bit chilly. It was chilly this morning when I went for my walk. Still trying to get that tea, day, tea dye off. Oh, well, tea, avocado, and blueberry off my hand. And I used some rose petals yesterday. That paper came out really pretty. That was my first attempt in that. Not dried ones, fresh fresh ones. I just um, boiled some water in my tea kettle and then I added the rose petals and just left them in there for a couple of hours and they came out really nice. So now you have an opening here, you want an opening here. Let me just glue this one up first. Yeah, so I'm kind of glad it's the weekend. For some reason, I I relax more during the weekend. Do my slow stitching and that kind of thing. Spend more time in my craft room than I do on my chores. A little bit more time in my garden as well on weekends than I do during the week. During the week, I just make sure everything's watered. And, and um, on the weekends, I'll harvest like my lavender and my roses and, you know, anything else I have that I want to dry. And um, hydrangea, whatever. Uh, my hydrangea is really starting to go by, though. I mean, I have a few more blooms that are blooming, buds that are blooming. So, so that's, you know, that's good. I'm gonna take a quick sip of my water. Thank you. <coughs> Sorry, I felt it coming, <laughs> I felt it coming on. So, now all you're going to do is fold this up and meet it to here and fold this up. I just want that little part in the bag to be on the inside and fold this up. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is you want to cut this off and I'm not very good at straight lines and I only want to take a skiff off the bottom because I only want to open it. So I'm just going to put it in my trimmer and take a skiff off so that I'm creating now a tube. And same with this one. Just that much. That is a trash next to me. I'm not putting it on the floor. And there I go. Now you could cut that off at the beginning and then fold it so it's nice and even, but I'm just going to take that serrated edge off because I don't like it. I'll probably really mess up my 
cutter, but I'm going to do it anyway. See, it did. <laughs> Just make sure you get it out of there because the next time you go to cut, it will jam. So what are your plans for the weekend? We may go out to the beach this weekend. We'll have to check the red tide, but I'm pretty sure that's passed. So we'll see. See how it goes. I always say that, and then we end up very busy around the yard or what have you, and then I like to craft something. So now just make sure these are folded up so that your top edges are even, like so. And then all you're going to do is put these together. Now I have already cut my paper to size, as you saw. And now all I'm going to do is open it up. I'm going to glue this top because I just for the extra strength. Sorry for the reach. This is going to be a short video, I hope, today. Not very long. I was going to do an inspiration video this morning on some things that I've created to give you some inspiration, but um, it'll be too long. Well, I haven't really prepared very well for it either, so I was just looking through my inspiration box and I thought, oh, that would be fun to show. That I haven't done that in three years. and. Some people may have never seen it or forgotten about it. So then you're going to just put these two in here, like so. Okay, but before you do that, you're just going to glue this right here along the line. And I am using my art glitter glue because these are kind of waxy. So I want to make sure it's kind of centered. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, okay, that's easy enough. So I'm just going to go along the two lines. And I'm going to place that right in here. And these are great in your journals because you can do them in any way. And then inside these little, th you know, this could fit right inside a pocket. And um, I'm just making sure that's down. Um, these can fit right inside a pocket. See, so you're only gluing that line. You're not gluing anything else, just right there. And then you're gonna lift it up. And again, you're gonna try to get this in the middle. That looks about right. This is definitely cold. <laughs> it shouldn't have to have the pin in it that quickly. Again in the middle, not anywhere else. And place it down like so. And then you want to open it like this. You want to place a line of glue here. Lift that up. And a line of glue here. So you're just gluing in the centers. And like I said, these are a little waxy. So I just want to give it a good press to make sure it's going to stick. And 
And then what you want to do is put another line of glue here. But don't go all the way to the top, but just, just about. And then you want to fold it up like so and press just the middle. That's all you're doing is the middles. Okay. I'm hoping I'm making this clear enough to everybody. And then this comes down like this. Now for my little tabs. I'm going to, because this is paper, and it's going to go inside a little pocket inside my journal. I'm just going to take something out of my little ephemera book here that I just made the other day. And my shabby chic kind of things. I'm going to use one of these, tag, these um, little scripts. From Roxy Creations. I'm sorry, Ray, uh, Heather at Ruby and Pearl, XO and Etsy. So I just picked a couple to make my little tabs with. So now what I'm going to do is um, pick and make some tabs. <laughs> put this back in. Sorry. I am going to have another sip of water. I'm sorry, people. <clears throat> and I'm just going to pick a couple. Let's see. How many do we need? See, it's going to fold open like this. So I'm going to have... Um, I'm going to put one here, one here, one here, and one here. So it's one, two, three, four. So I just need four little strips. I didn't think this part out. I forgot. Sorry. I should have had these made already. So here's one. This just makes it easier for me, that's all. To use strips. <laughs> and I love these. Every a lot of a lot of um, artists, digital artists make them now. But hers a bit I just love them. They're so versatile and you can use them for anything. I've even, I've even made little mini ones of these with these strips. Just take the whole strip, you know, and make everything together with it for my mini journals. One, two, how many did I say I needed? Four? I don't even remember. This one would actually look very cute on the outside, so I might use that one for the outside. Three. Four. I think I have enough. going to do is I'm going to make little tabs with these. So I'm just going to fold it like this. And fold this one like this. Yeah, almost like a file folder type thing. Does that make sense? I don't make sense very much in the mornings. I don't remember how many I needed. They don't have to be all the same size either, as you can see. Um, I 
like to have a variety, so. Kind of get ahead of myself here a little bit. I forget how many I need, to be all honest with you. <laughs> and one more, just so that I have it. And I'll put these aside and put them back in my ephemera book. See, those are so versatile. So now I'm just going to put, the first one is going to go here. So I'm just going to glue that down. And that's why you want to leave a space here. Okay, because you're going to add tabs. Not for any real reason, except it looks cute. And you can kind of pull apart and see what's in there. And I will typically put like little journaling cards in mine for my journals or little writing spots. Okay, let me get some glue on my edges. I do that all the time. I don't know why I do that on camera. Is this coming out? I can't see it. Now it'll come out in a big blob. Oh dear. It doesn't like it being cold in the morning. I might have to take my cap off and wash it. You know, this part, every once in a while, it gums up. So just glue both sides of that because you're going to make a little tab. I'm going to put this one on this side if I can. I don't think it's going to be too wide, is it? No. Just want to make sure it's even. So there's my first tab. I just want to make sure it's straight. So there's my first tab. So when I open it, I have my first tab. And then over here, she'll be upside. Well, no, she wouldn't be upside down because I put her this way. But I think I'll do a skinnier one on this. No, I'll do the wider one on this side so it'll match. And you could do it up, down, you know, it doesn't all have to be even. But I'm just kind of making it like a file folder type of an item, sort of, if you know what I mean. it down and there I have my set and you don't have to do this this just gives it a little bit of you know added something because as soon as you open it I mean quite obviously you can see it it just gives it that little bit of an added touch so then I'm gonna put this one here I hope this was clear to you. If not, leave me a comment below and I'll re-explain. I have no problem doing that. I'm going to catch up. That's the other thing I haven't done. I have not caught up on your comments. I will do that today. After I get my mailing out. <laughs> I have so many happy mails. And it is the, um, it's our, 
I have pen pals um, in Europe, so I need to get those out today because it is already the middle of the month and we usually make sure that we get them by the end of the month. I love pen pals, especially in other countries. And I know with I know with England they might still be having trouble with their um in the UK with their you know with their system. So now I'm gonna put sort of a skinnyish one on this side. It really doesn't matter as long as it fits. This one kind of either didn't go down far enough or I'm not really loving the color. I don't know though. I can always trim it at the top. I don't know what I'm thinking. So now one here, one here, one here, and I'm going to put one here. I do love this blue one. I should have gone down further. I definitely should have gone down further. So I'm just going to trim those up a little bit because they're glued. still early. It's only, I think it's 7.30. But I just wanted to get my video up for today and say hello to y'all. I might be putting up another one this afternoon for my um, inspiration, you know, to give y'all some inspiration to my subscribers and maybe some new visitors. So what I'm gonna do now is because I feel like these are sticking up too far, not so much that one, but for sure this one. And I'm not so sure if it's the color or exactly what it is. Oh gosh, let's get this straight. Dang, see, can't cut a straight line to save my life. There we go. Let's make sure they're not all too long. This one looks, see, I definitely don't want to cut down that rose because I think it looks so pretty when you open it. So I think the others are fine. I'm just going to open this up and re-glue because I cut it. So any scrap will do. You don't have to do what I do if you don't have these little strips. But they are very, very versatile. And then you could fill it with some strips. I mean, you could fill it with anything. Okay. I don't want to cut off this rose. Definitely don't want to lose that. And plus, I just think it's really pretty. So then all you're going to do is, for this one, I'm going to leave my corners straight because they're straight down here. And I like that. Then all you're going to do is you're going to take, I'm so sorry, forgot them again. Take a mini brad. Sorry about that, folks. So sorry. I forgot my ribbon. I'm right here. I'm right here. Here it is. Oh. That was my glass door cabinet of my 1901 <laughs> cabinet. I'm sorry to have left you. I know people don't really like that. They're like, why aren't you prepared? You're doing a video. I'm actually going to use this white one. All I'm going to do is make sure it's in the middle here. Now you could also add a pocket to the back, which I will do after the video. And when I come back, I'll show you the rest of the ones that I've made. So let's see, this needs some, what colors do I have in here? It doesn't really matter. I think I'll use, like a lavender color ribbon. And I keep my ribbon in these because it's so handy 
all you do is pull out what you need and you can get them at the Dollar Tree or, you know, pretty much anywhere. Oops. And then you just pull out what you need, close it up and put it back where it belongs when you're done with your project. But I'll leave mine out so that I am prepared. I'm gonna turn my light on. That's part of my problem. The sun's not on this side yet. I'm sorry if that's too, too bright. So now all I'm going to do is, I'm just going to help this through by getting a little tiny pair of scissors and making sure that this is in the middle. Which now this is a little bit wider, remember. So that looks like it's in about the middle. And I'm gonna make a little small hole here just to help my little legs here on my brad punch through that paper stubborn You could use a grommet, grommet, yeah. You know, crop a dial and a grommet. You don't have to use a brad. It's just for me, it's easier. I always want to tie it where I'm going to wrap it. So I'm going to tie this on the bottom. Pull this up a little bit so it will go around because I am using ribbon and not twine. You could even tie a bow here underneath. But I'm not going to. Oops. And like I said, this fits easily into a pocket in your journal or wherever. Happy mail is perfect. I usually will send stickers from the U.S. that I know that they can't get. I have a friend in Israel. So she can't get the stickers we can get here. So she just loves getting stickers. And you know, you can get so many at the Dollar Tree for so little money. So I send her seasonal ones. So I've already sent her spring, now I'll send her summer. Of course, they're pretty much the same, but you know. A little bit different than, and I do make some of my own as well because we always do something homemade, and they're not very big fish. Um, the longest part of my process for mine is my um, my letters. Then all you're going to do is take it up around. See, that's why I go around the bottom because I'm going to go this way. I'm going to just wrap this around this little brad. Just make sure your brad is pulled out far enough before you put anything on the back of it so that your ribbon goes through. I don't know why that's getting stuck. Well, it usually does. I might have not. I might have to pull that out a little bit more. And there you go. Wrap it around twice, just to be safe. I just wrapped it around once, and then just trim it up. And now you have something really adorable. And you can decorate this, which I will. You know, I'll probably put a little flower here or something, sticker, anything. Then open it back up. And then you could even take one of your strips, like one of the ones I've already cut maybe, to cover this up. 
which I will. I'll put this right here. Okay, so now I'm just going to push these legs back down. Just making sure that they're not too tight. You know, make sure that this is up enough. So that you can get your ribbon around it. You could put a piece of fabric over this, anything. Anything you want, washi tape or nothing. I just like to cover it. I'm gonna put this right here. Aren't these easy? So much easier than the others where you have to fold and glue sides and all of that. And what an adorable Happy Mail with something you've either made or what have you on the inside. I could have put lace and all of that under there, but no. This is perfect for me. Because like I said, it's going to go inside the pocket. And this goes right in your journal. And then you could put little, you know, anything. Little journaling cards, anything. And then it just simply opens up like this. Oops. Make sure it's not glued together. Okay, I hope I made that very simple for you. I hope that I didn't take too long. I'm trying to make my video shorter. I'm not going to decorate it on camera in my next video. I will show you how they came out. I did not make a prototype, so I can't um, show you a picture of one I made. And there you go. And I'll have to cut that little string a little bit shorter. The little tiny piece. And that is for today. So, I hope that you enjoyed that video. I hope that I explained everything well. And if you have any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comment box. And also, if you have a YouTube channel, please let me know the name of your YouTube channel or your name. So if it's Mimi's Keepsake, put Marnell. Okay, so until next time, be well, be kind, and God bless. Love y'all. Happy Friday. Enjoy your weekend.